Hello, sixth graders. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. It is so good to see you all. Good morning, good morning. 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 Um, Miss Mel, did you check out the short story contest? Can you say that again, honey? Did you check out the short story contest? I did, and I think that you guys would be amazing at it, and I'm going to try to figure out how we can maybe incorporate that into our learning time together. How does that sound? Okay, so um, today... I want us to just start out together by closing our eyes and just visualizing what an open mind looks like and feels like um, and trying to channel that open mind. Because, sweet friends, I want to inspire you to go through our class today with an open mind, okay? Open your eyes and let's get started. Today, we are going to play, yes, I said play, with our vocabulary words, okay? We are going to play with our vocabulary words. You guys needed to have 12 pieces of paper or 12 different note cards or 12 scrap, you know, chunks of paper to play with our vocabulary words today. So if you do not have those, I would like you to go and grab those now. And what we are going to do is we are going to write six vocabulary words on six cards and six of their definitions on um, the other six cards. So Justin and Gabriel, your brothers actually just did this with me in eighth grade, um, but their words are obviously a little bit different than yours are. Okay, so for some of you, you know, you might just have a scrap piece of paper that you decide to tear or um, cut. That's fine. Um, the, the biggest thing is, is I want you guys to have 12 different um, pieces of something. Okay, 12 different pieces of something. Um, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to make a card for each vocab word that we're going to be practicing and learning. And we are going to make a card for each definition of each vocab word that we are going to be practicing and learning. And then I'm going to teach you guys the movement and learning activity that we're going to do. And you're going to actually record yourself doing that for your assignment today. Okay, um, so I don't know if all of you know this, but I am a yoga teacher for kids, teenagers, and adults, but I also am super passionate about this idea of conjoining learning and movement together um, because your brain learns more, more in depth, and retains more information when more pieces of your body other than just the brain are working. So some of you have maybe heard before, um, maybe people studying while jumping on like a mini tramp. Have you guys ever heard of that before? So like they, they like practice multiplication facts while they're, they're jumping on a tramp because their body is moving and working right alongside of their mind so their mind retains it more, okay? And so today we are going to work on um, those same things. And so what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to take your cards out, please. And I would like for you on six of your cards to write down the following words that I'm going to put in the chat box, okay? So six vocabulary words.
right? So in the chat box. We could write these in our notebooks. Nope, great question. You are going to write each word on one card at a time. So one of your cards will have the word character traits. I need to cut cards first. Okay, go ahead and do that, bud. One of your cards, write small, because this is a beefy word, right, Jordan? Will have characterization. <laughs> That's a huge word. One of your cards will have the word climax. Exposition it has that root for the same root that the word expose has or to show. I have all of them written down. Awesome. On another card, you will have external conflict. And on another card, you will have the word resolution. Okay? Resolution. Exposition and resolution. Now, I'm going to share my screen with you a second. Hang tight, sweet people. When I go in to your course and I click on the calendar for today, I see this item here, glossary terms, okay? Hmm, oh look, there's Miss Mel, do you see that? When you go to this glossary terms item here, do you see how these are the bolded words are your vocabulary words and then underneath them are the definitions do you guys see that can you give me a thumbs up if you see that yep okay so this is where you are going to find the definition for each of those words now i'm going to spotlight my video here a second so um i can help you understand so let's do one together let's take this word characterization Okay, characterization is on one card. I want you to grab another blank card for me. And on another blank card, I want you to write the definition of characterization. Okay, the definition of characterization. The act of creating. Jordan, are you writing, honey? Emmanuel, are you writing? Okay. The act of yes. Okay. The act of creating and developing a character. Do you want us to write characterization on that one? No. Great question. So great question. So we now have two different cards. On one card is the word is the vocabulary word characterization and on the other card is the definition for that. The act of and creating and developing a character, characterization. So now, friends, we officially have one vocabulary match. Do you see that? How these would essentially go together, okay? I want you to put one of the vocabulary cards with just the word on it into one pile. And then you're gonna do the vocabulary definition cards in another pile, okay? So by the end of this, using the glossary terms that I have for you in our coursework, you are gonna have a whole pile of vocabulary cards. And you are going to have a whole pile of the definitions for those vocabulary words that you guys are going to do for the rest of your vocabulary words in just a second. Are you guys with me so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. All of these vocabulary words go with what we talked about the first read in the close reading model does. And that is, um, it shows the author's craft, okay? And I brought something to show you today. This is a um, wall hanging that my husband made for me this week. Actually, it's not for me. We're going to the Farm Girl Flea this weekend, and we're going to be selling there. 
I told you guys we have a, a furniture company and a wall decor company called J and Joy Design. And um, my husband is the maker and I am the designer. So I designed this. Oh, hang on. Ashley needs to get in here. I designed this, but he put all of the pieces together. Okay. So I want to come up close here. I want you to see. You see how every single one of these pieces is individually cut. There needed to be an individual angle for each one. Every single one of these pieces in the background was individually cut and stained. We worked to put every single one of these pieces together. Nail, gun, stain, all of this, glue, in order to make the full picture, right? All of those pieces had to come together to make this full picture. That is Ms. what the author's craft is, you guys. Miss Melissa, read yeah. that. Where did you get that at? I made it. My husband That's and I made so it. That's so cool. Thank you. So you guys have probably heard the word craftsmanship, right? Like being able to work with your hands and wood and tools to create something beautiful, put different pieces together to create something beautiful. Yeah. The author's craft is the same thing. Just like every single one of those pieces come together to create something beautiful, all of these pieces that are on our vocabulary cards need to come together to create a piece of writing. Okay, so it is important to know every single one of these words and the definition to understand the author's craft writing. Are you guys with me so far? Are you guys with me so far? Yes. We need 12 cards. You need 12 cards, yes. So in a second, you guys are going to go and finish the definition cards for the vocabulary words that we did not do yet, okay? But then you are going to play with these words and cards, and I'm going to show you how. Bear with me. All right, so I have two stools, one right here on one side of my room, one right here on another side of my room, okay? And like I was saying about movement and learning, muscle memory and brain memory, when we move while we learn, our brain retains more information, okay? And today we're gonna do just that. On one side of the room, you guys are gonna put your vocabulary cards, okay? On the other side of the room, you guys are going to put your vocabulary definition cards. Then you're going to set up your computer just like I have it right now. And you're going to go into on the bottom left hand part of your screen. Um, there's like four squares in a box. That's your start menu. And when you click on those, you're going to open up your camera and you are going to record yourself working as fast as you can to find the definitions of the vocabulary, vocabulary words and their definitions matches together here in the middle, okay? So for example, my first word is climax. So I'm gonna put that word in the center and I'm gonna look, climax, climax. Oh, right here, right here. The high point in the action of the plot, it's the moment of greatest tension and the turning point, okay? So then I'm gonna go characterization, characterization. We just tried that, where is it, where is it, where is it? The qualities, attitudes, and values that the character has, boom. And you're gonna do that back and forth with all of your vocabulary words, okay? You're gonna time yourself. You are going to time yourself how long it takes you to do this. You can use your phone, your iPod, or I have a free timer for you that I will send out in the, um, assignment and whoever in this class can make the um, matches of their vocabulary words and their definitions the fastest will win a prize. If you don't come on campus, I will send it to you. If you do, I will give it to you. But you are going to turn in the video that you 
make, putting your vocabulary words and their definitions together, you're going to turn that into me with the time it took you to do it. And I'll be able to check because I'll be able to time it as I watch the video. Um, and whoever gets the fastest one wins a prize. What kind of prize? I cannot tell you, but I promise it's a good one. Go to school for a life lesson. What? No way, Jose. No way. So, guys, why are we doing this? Well, number one, it's important to know the, the big words that are going to be coming up in our units, right? Number two, it's important to get you guys up and moving. And then number three, vocabulary learning does not have to be boring. It doesn't. We can make it fun. And I know that some of you are going to try this today and you're going to be like, this was the best way I've ever learned vocabulary in my entire career. Others of you are going to do this and go, that was a nightmare. I never want to do it again. But what I'm trying to do is give you boatloads of options so that you can constantly be self-assessing. Did that work for me? Does that fit my learning style? Um, how can I you know, make sure I incorporate this into my time when I'm at home or when I'm at school? Um, so everyone is going to do this. Your assignment is going to go live. And what I'm going to do, hang on one second. What I'm going to do is inside of that assignment, I'm actually going to put the recording of this live lesson in the assignment. So if you need to go back and rewatch this or redo any of this, you can do that. All right, questions. Um, I got the words done. Awesome. And, uh, definitions. So what's the next step before you can record yourself and actually run yeah. around and play this game? What does everyone need to do? Bye. Yes. You're going to, and I'll show you one more time, guys, okay? Because I know this is important. You're going to go uh -huh. to your course, into your calendar. Wow. And this is what's there for today. Right? <coughs> Could you guys mute your mics for me, please? You're going to click on glossary terms. And then from here, this is where you will find the definitions for the rest of our vocabulary words. OK? And then um, you will click on those four squares at the bottom left-hand corner to find your camera. And I cannot wait. You guys, seriously, I cannot wait to see this activity. This is something that I have been dreaming about since June when I did this training about movement and learning and like this stuff just is what gets me super pumped. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Great, great question, Ashley. You're actually going to record yourself. Yep. Mrs. Mel? Yes. Do you want us to write down all of the vocabulary words on the slide or just the ones you told us to write down the Zoom? Great question, buddy. Just the ones that I told that I asked you to do in Zoom. So just those six words that I put in the chat box. Do you want me to put those in the chat box one more time, guys? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Just to make sure that you have them. Yeah, because there's a boatload of words. But some of on Monday, some of you proved to me that you you don't need you don't need all of them because you know them already. But also going through that list this week, I kind of wanted to go back to the author's craft that we talked about. And I wanted to just pick the six that I felt like were most important for this group to know about author's craft. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to make your assignment live as soon as this recording is uploaded to the cloud. I'll put it on YouTube and then I'll get the YouTube video into the assignment. You guys, for right now, until that is live, can go and get your definitions from the glossary term slide. Um, and then I'll send you a chat. I'll put a chat um, in the middle school virtual office when this is done, when the video uh, is processed. This is Mel. What yeah. about me? Because I don't have the middle school virtual office. Carlton, would you like to be a part of that? Uh, sure. Okay.
I'm going to put you in that. And if, and if you're, if you go in it and you're like, hang on, this is too overwhelming living in the middle school world and the fifth grade world, I'll take you out and I'll just individual chat you. Okay, bud. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. Any other questions before I let you guys fly? Have I told you lately that I appreciate you? You guys are awesome. Where do we find the what, honey? Where do we find the definition for the cards? Okay, great question. I'm going to share with you one more time, buddy. Okay. So I am um, I'm at, on my dashboard, right? You guys have one of these too, and you're going to click on View Course, and it's Wednesday, and then this um, sidebar here, Jason this calendar, that's where you find everything for every class. Click on calendar, and right now I'm in language arts, and I'm just looking at today. I know, Gabriel, I'm behind on my grading. And then this first item, so all three of these things you guys need to do today, but this first one is what we're talking about now, and here is where you will find all of the glossary terms and their definitions. Oh, Isabella, do you want to share an easier way with us? Oh, uh, sure. Do you want to share your screen and teach us? Yeah. Sweet. If I can, if I can. Do you have the ability to share your screen, honey? Yep, I just got it. Can you see it? Yes, awesome. Mm -hmm. Teach us, my dear. <laughs> okay, so I'm at my home screen. And on the sidebar, right here, um, it was popped up here, but then you just click it. It's I know it's a different one. It was up there, but mm -hmm. I clicked it. And then it just goes right to it. Obviously, this isn't it, but. Because you already went there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Sweet. So a couple of different ways to find it. And then while you're there, Isabel, um, do you see those arrows forward and backward on the tippy top of your screen? Um, right next to the heart, the top right hand side of your screen. No. Right at the top, there's like a, they're, they're like the greater than and less than signs. Uh, Mrs. Mel, actually, before you put me into the uh, live office, I should probably figure that out with my family first. I think that's a great idea, Carlton. Oh, the back? Yes. So you okay. could, well, no, not the back. It's on the top right-hand part of your screen. There's a greater than, less than sign, a heart, a couple of arrows, a speech bubble, and then an uh, envelope. Do you see that? If you use the greater than and less than, um, oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those actually bring you towards the previous activity or the next activity. So you can also toggle in between those as well. Okay. I'll probably, Mrs. Mel, I'll probably send you a Zoom message when we figure out what we're going to do. That sounds great, honey. No problem. No, it's not up there now because I clicked it, but. Hmm, it should still be up there. Oh, oh no. Otherwise, just, I, you can just go to your calendar and click yep. it. It yep. loads. And you know what, dude? You're actually showing me something. I think that I um, didn't click a button to make it show up the right way. So I'm going to go and do that right now. Um, while you guys go and finish your, your definitions, okay? Because I think there's one tiny little button I need to click to make sure you can still see it. Yeah, once you go on it, it just disappears, though. Visible in contents. All right, if you refresh your page, you should be able to see it now. Maybe. All right, so you guys can go and finish the definitions. I'm going to upload your video to the assignment for today, um, and then I can't wait to see your videos. If you have any questions, just give me an individual Zoom message. Sound good? All right. You all rock. I'll see you soon. Adios. Bye.
Thank you. Yeah.